give us the ticket up here in the big boy section. Oh yeah, let's start this journey. All right guys, so as you can see there, we got three and a half hours of driving going on here down the turnpike. And I'm sure you guys are wondering where we are going and I will disclose that as soon as we arrive, get everything figured out. I guess I could do a uh, road update. I-76 West is actually pretty clear and you can see over there, you know, still got all the snow and everything going on like that. So, you know, PennDOT at least did a very good job here on 76 so far. I mean, it is the next day and the sun is shining. So uh, that could be the culprit of why everything's so crisp and so clean. But let's just keep plugging and chugging, guys. Do not cross the center lines. Huh. I'm not going to lie. It is actually kind of cool to go through a tunnel. I do always enjoy them. Always got to be in the fast lane, though. super super dark like this is actually messing with my eyes it's so dark I like to live on the edge I change lanes country or all this city living stuff i mean what in the hell bridges everywhere i mean we do have city island and things like that near us but this is just this is just too much city driving for me i'm not into all this give me some backwoods and some whiskey and i'm in look at this guy dragging his side skirt down the highway only in freaking Pittsburgh. I gotta give that 7.3 some credit. Pretty sure it's a 7.3. I've been in the Ford game long enough, but it sounds freaking... Did you hear it? It's one thing about the 6.0s and the 7.3s. They sound freaking vicious. I miss my power stroke. Oh, wait. I miss my 6.0. Did not even realize it until I happened to look to my right, but there's Heinz Field. Huh, well that's kind of cool, even though the Steelers suck. All right, so we get out here to our first assignment, and obviously this is the rig we're supposed to pick up. And uh, well, there's no wheel, no tire, no nothing. So we had to drop this bad boy. We go over to the next one, which is over on the other side over there. And uh, that one wouldn't fire up. Although it's a brand new unit, it still wouldn't fire. They sent me old trusty here, so we got old reliable here. She's ready to go. We're hooked and let's get on the road. Much a truck that probably shouldn't be climbing a mountain. Really? I mean, uh, so. Yeah, the generator? Yeah, the generator's behind me. What's that? Unfortunately, I. I kind of can't hear it because I can't stop in the middle of this hill or I'm going to be fucked. Oh, it's pretty um, terrible, actually. Yeah, I think you can make it to your site. I'm, I'm almost to the top of the hill now. Alright, I'm at the flat at the top. And, uh, looks like I'm actually to the site almost. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm, I'm up it now. Alrighty, well, we got the generator to its location, and this is literally the only thing that sucks. I mean, it is literally a frozen trail up here, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta 
get some scratches on your truck. It ain't a show truck, that's for certain. As you seen on the way up, sorry if I didn't say nothing or if I was on the phone. I was trying to get up because this is literally a sheet of ice on the way up through here. As you can hear, the truck is definitely too tall for this. I know there's been other trucks up and down through here. I guarantee they made it with ease. But it is what it is. It's part of owning such a massive truck. I know I keep saying massive truck, but this truck is pretty darn big. It's pretty gnarly, I won't lie. And uh, also while I was up here, there was a little bit of a deer colony. There's a little bit of a deer uh, herd that was running through and that was definitely a little nerve wracking because uh, it's pitch black up here. Obviously, with there not being any power or any lights or anything like that, you can't see what is going on. All you do is hear noises and uh, yeah, that was a little sketchy. So let me get this gate closed. Now that we're back down out of the mountain, and uh, I'll be right back with you. We're heading back to the yard. Alrighty, we got the gate all locked back up. And uh, let's get back in the truck. Let's get out of here. I don't hit you on the back of this. Yeah. All right, go over there so they can load you up with that. Hook you up. All right. All right? Yep. Just so you all know, out here on the job sites, we do four tough stuff. darn right 450s 450s everywhere Definitely ain't no pavement princess. Holy smokes. There's a deer straight ahead. Can you see the deer? Gonna run out across the lane there. Oh, there's a bunch back there. Look at that. Just gonna stand there. Come on, Missy. That one was actually like a little button buck or a spike, if you would. Love to stay and hang out, guys, but I got some stuff I got to get accomplished. Ooh. I'm not even in four wheel drive.
guys this is awesome i'm not gonna lie like this is actually pretty exciting except for when branches hit the roof of the truck but to be able to do stuff like this this is actually pretty cool you know you learn a lot and that's what it's about you know helping out when you can learning and uh keeping on keeping on not sure just how much you can see but by the light that you see on the building that means we got power to this tower time to plug and chug and on to the next one now it is about i think 4 35 in the morning Woo! we're out here just running routes while you guys are sleeping i'm out here running routes I've got race cars to build actually i've got christmas coming up and uh got some gifts and things to buy for the kids we are cleared and on to the next one these hills are pretty gnarly guys like you have no idea oh my laptop i did bring my laptop because they did say i could be out here a day or they said i could be out here for a week or a month so it was one of those things where I had no idea. I still have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but I'm out here to make a little, a little paper and uh, save some people. So, gee zooks. Some of these mud holes too coming back to this plant or this uh, tower were definitely deep. here to to dry land head over here and close the gate as you can tell I'm not sure if you can see this here everything is posted private property no trespass let's get this gate closed of course even out of town i'm a basic biatch good morning guys and welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel i am senate steve and we are out here doing some super duty things on a little bit of a mission i'm not gonna lie if you did see the last video then you know i'm out here delivering generators to people without power and uh well it, it's been a fun run so it's been so far we're one night in I traveled about five hours out west up the turnpike to get where I'm at and now we are uh, they're sending me on a recovery mission because everyone else has you know we'll say normal trucks so basically what happened is they tossed the chainsaw in here to me they uh, now I gotta go save somebody who's stuck yeah, they gave me a chainsaw and everything. Said, you got the best truck, go get him. I don't know about that. I heard he's buried in the field. Really? Oh, boy. Be careful, bro. All right, buddy. So, apparently he's buried in a field. Unbelievable. So, this is what it's all about, guys. Like, I just like helping people, saving people, and, uh, you know, putting my best foot forward. So, with that being said... I know you guys like that so with that being said we're gonna head up the road here and we're gonna see what kind of situation we're walking into apparently there's two down trees and he tried to go around the one or I I don't know I'm just here to help out so let's get plugging and chugging all right guys well now you can see why I am on this recovery mission um, there is a power line down um, yeah I'm just going over those cones but uh, there's a power line down. Apparently there's trees down as well. And uh, yeah. Well, there's the first tree down. I 
guess I need to cut some of this back. Yeah, as you can see, that guy is way down there. And unfortunately, it's just all solid mud. And it, I mean, I went down in my boots and it sank down, you know, two inches. I'm not willing to risk my truck for that. I would love to, but not gonna happen. Not today. They're gonna have to get some kind of big equipment to get him out. All right, well, unfortunately that guy was in an absolute terrible, terrible spot. So they told me to run back to the yard, grab a generator, and head out to his tower where he was, you know, supposed to, excuse me, where he was supposed to uh, hook up. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get all set up here, get that tower up and running. And uh, we're literally waiting on more generators to get delivered. Plug and chug, baby. Not sure if you guys can read that, but it says no large vehicles or service companies down this road gotta do what i gotta do i mean i gotta i gotta power up some i got a tower i gotta power up so we're gonna keep plugging and chugging this is just awesome guys like one thing you will learn about me like i will take this like when I was in Pittsburgh back there, it was a little nerve wracking, you know, narrow roads, cars zipping in and out and everything like that. Now, most of these roads down here, I haven't passed a car in freaking 10 miles. And the other, the cars and trucks that you do pass, they all wave to you because they think you're a local, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I could live out somewhere like this. Them, them folks got a horse out back. That's pretty gnarly. Just, just out here plugging and chugging, making that paper. All right, guys. So I can't show you the 411, but I can show you a little bit of it. Basically, there's these leads that uh, go on the top of the unit. You take the leads down, you connect them in here, and you gotta close this because this is a safety. If these are not, you know, back, the generator will not fire up. And you can. Uh, I actually have a screwdriver, but. I've been using a quarter for this one. Just relock it. And obviously you have your leads. You take them over here to a power box, which I do not have access to this code yet. But once I get the access to this code, there's a uh, port on the bottom that swings down. And then I just connect the same leads there to the box and we restore power. She's been putting in work. I think we have like 800 miles on it already this weekend. So I'm not, I'm not too upset. Well, this is fun stuff. So these are the correct connectors. And uh, this is the connections that they gave me. Um, that one's obviously a female and this is a male. And uh, basically all the connections to this unit are male, male. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hardwire this. So as of there, you can see, I got the red lead already in. We're just gonna keep going and get all these hardwired in and we're gonna get this bad boy fired up one way or another. Lucky for me, I keep cool tools in the truck and uh, we can get this job taken care of so we don't have to leave the site and uh, waste any more time. This, this unit's supposed to have been up since 11 o'clock last night. And um, this is the guy that was stuck in the field and everything like that. So pretty much we're out here plugging and chugging. We're gonna get this tower fired up one way or another. And as you can tell, I am by myself there's no one else around the crazy part is i literally do not have the right but i have a wobble socket in here that is actually as you can see working and working the well way i need it to um to obviously you can sell these are allen's i don't have any allen keys with me and a wobble socket seems to be working so guys that should just go to show you got you're out here in the field doing something you got to get done what you got to get done. You got to find a way to get it done because, you know, quitting just isn't an option. So for everybody out there that thinks that, you know, oh, I can't do it because I don't have the right tool or I don't have this, get back in there, suit up and get it done. Can't really uh, record that. 
record that properly. I don't know what you're seeing there. Maybe good, maybe not. All right, we got our hot wired in. This is for a five phase. I'm not sure if you guys know electricians, but we got red to red, white to white, green to green and black to black. Let's get this thing serviced and fired up. Cummins hoodie. Certainly looks like somebody was doing some coming. Feller can't even walk. In case anybody knows, they got firewood. All right, guys, well, this has been an absolutely amazing experience. I'm so thankful that I did it. It's not over yet, but I'm gonna end it here. I'm not gonna record anything else unless anything crazy comes up. But it is now about, you know, six o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock on Sunday. And uh, I mean, we were refueling all day. The truck is handling amazing. I think it turned uh, 262,000 miles. Um, a bunch of people were asking how many miles are on the truck. It's got 262. Um, engine has been reworked already at like 207. Uh, Transit only has about 70,000 miles on it. But uh, there you have it, guys. This truck is an absolute monster. And I need you guys to let me know. Do you like the truck covered in mud? looking all rough and ready to go or should we keep it pristine and spotless like a pristine pavement princess i mean she definitely took abuse look at that i mean there is there's probably five inches of freaking mud there guys look at that man so the truck definitely took some abuse i'm not upset about it you know like i said we were able to help some people get some power on and everything like that and we're going to continue to do it until they say your time is cut you are out of here so with that being said guys if you like the content if you're new to the channel we do do like uh corvette things and uh truck stuff we're going to do modifications of this truck and we're going to do a bunch of things so if you are new to the channel smash that subscribe button smash that like button and i will see you guys in the next upload